Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements. The periodic labor force service conducted by the Ministry of Labor and Employment. Quarterly employment service conducted by MOSP. So we have to select the correct statement. Both are actually not correct. The correct answer is option D. Periodic labor force service conducted by the National Statistical Office, MOSP, and the quarterly employment surveys are part of All India Quarterly Established Based Employment Survey. It is released by the Labor Bureau, which, which is under Ministry of Labor and Employment. It covers establishments employing 10 or more workers in the organized segment in nine sectors, namely manufacturing, construction, trade, transport, education, health, accommodation, restaurant. ITBPO and financial services. Moving on, consider the following statements regarding North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It was established by the Washington Treaty. All the NATO decisions are taken by the consensus of all the 30 members of the organization. We have to select the correct statement. Both the statements are actually correct. The correct answer is option C. Recently, NATO and Russia discussed the ongoing situation in Ukraine and its implications for security in Europe. The talks happened at the NATO Russia Council, which took place at the NATO headquarters in Brussels. NATO was established by the North Atlantic Treaty, which is also known as the Washington Treaty of 4th April 1949 by US, Canada and several other European nations to provide collective security against the Soviet Union. It is headquartered at Brussels, Belgium, and a NATO decision is the expression of the collective will of all the 30 members and since all decisions are taken by consensus, that, it, that is why it is being said like that. NATO summit for the first time has explicitly described China as a security risk. And the other two threats identified by NATO declaration are Russia and terrorism. Consider the following statements. Free trade agreement is a pact between two or more nations to, uh, to reduce barriers to imports and exports amongst them. India has bilateral free trade agreements with the UAE. United Kingdom, Australia and Canada. So we have to select the correct statement. If we have to select the correct statement, option E is correct. One only is the correct answer, not the second one. Looking to double the trade between India and UK, by 2030, the countries launched formal free trade agreement negotiations recently. It is a pact between two or more nations to reduce barriers to import and export among them. And under a free trade policy, goods and services can be bought and sold across international borders with little or no government tariff, quotas, subsidies or prohibitions to inhibit their exchanges. Bilateral free trade agreements of India are being negotiated with the United Arab Emirates, UK, Australia and Canada. Which of the following releases the Global Risks Report? World Health Organization, World Economic Forum, World Trade Organization, International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. The correct answer is option B. I'm sorry for the mistake that has been done. The options are not labeled as A, B and C and D. But here I'm telling you it's A, B, C and D. Okay. So the correct answer is World Economic Forum. That is option B. Recently, the Global Risks Report 2022, an annual report was released by the World Economic Forum. It tracks global risk perception. Among risk experts and world leaders in business, government and civil society. It examines risks across five categories, namely economic, environmental, geopolitical, societal and technological. World Economic Forum is based in Geneva, Switzerland. It is not-for-profit international organization established in the year 1971. It provides a platform for the CEOs of the largest companies, heads of state, of countries to meet each other and discuss business through bilateral meetings. It is mostly known for its annual meetings at the end of January in Davos, a mountain resort in the Eastern Alps region of Switzerland. It's a meet to showcase countries' potential in order to attract businesses. It is basically a networking event where countries project themselves to garner investment. With reference to missile technology control regime, consider the following statements. It was established by the G7 countries. The members of it are prohibited from supplying UAEV, UAV systems controlled by the MTCR to non-members. MTCR was started by signing of a treaty at Yokohama in 1987. We have to select the correct statement. So third is not correct. First and second are correct. The correct answer is option A. Missile technology controlled regime is an informal and voluntary partnership among 35 countries 
to prevent the proliferation of missile and unmanned aerial vehicle technology capable of carrying greater than 500 kg payload for more than 300 kilometers. The members are thus prohibited from supplying such missiles and UAV systems that are controlled by the MTCR to non-members. The decisions are taken by consensus of all the members and it is a non-treaty association of member countries with certain guidelines about the information sharing national control laws and export policies for the missile system and a rule-based regulation mechanism to limit the transfer of such critical technologies of these missile systems. It was established in April 1987 by G7 countries. USA, UK, France, Germany, Canada, Italy and Japan. It is a legally non-legally binding treaty and no punitive measures that is why it is for that which in case of non-compliance could have been taken. India was inducted into the MTCR in 2016 as the 35th member. The 38th parallel is the separating line between which two countries? The correct answer is North Korea and South Korea. Recently, the US has imposed its first sanctions over North Korea's weapon programs following a series of North Korean missile launches. After the defeat of Japan in World War II, the Allied forces at the Yalta Conference agreed to establish a four-power trusteeship over Korea. The fear of the spread of communism and mutual distrust between the USSR and USA led to the failure of trusteeship plan. Before a concrete plan could be formulated, the USSR invaded Korea and this led to a condition where North of Korea was under USSR and South was with the USA. And the Korean Peninsula was divided into two regions by the 30th parallel thereafter. Arrange the given regions in South to North direction. Spangur Lake, Pangongso Lake, Depsang Plains, Hot Spring. So we have to select the correct answer using the codes. Actually, the correct answer should be Option A. First, at the southernmost among these lies the Spangur Lake, then Pangongso, then as we go north, we have Hot Springs and then Depsang Plains. So let's see why is it asked. Beijing again showed reluctance to complete troop disengagement at a friction point in eastern Ladakh while also refusing to discuss steps to defuse the bigger problems at Depsang and Demchuk at the recent Coast Commander meeting. Since the standoff began in May 2020, the two sides disengaged from patrolling point 14 in Galwan Valley in June 2020, from north and south banks of Pangongso, Kailash Heights in Chushul subsector February 2021, patrolling point 17A in Gogra Post in August and that is why this question is asked. I hope you can see the map clearly. So as we see that southern at the southern end we have Pangongso. I will tell you where Spangol Lake is. After Pangongso we have hot springs and then Near the Karakuram Pass or the Dalat Begoldi, we have the Epsang Plains. And here you can see where is Pangur Lake. It lies south of Pangongso. Okay, let's move forward. With reference to the 17th Indian State of Forest Report, consider the following statements. Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Nagaland have all shown loss in forest cover. The states that have shown the highest increase in forest cover are Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and West Bengal. So we have to select the correct statement. First statement is correct, second is not because along with Telangana and Andhra Pradesh we have Odisha and not West Bengal. Option A is the correct answer. So the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change on Thursday released the Indian State of Forest Report 2021. This was ISFR for the first time was ever published in 1987 and Forest Survey of India under the Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Change releases this report. The report the 17th of the current report showed a continuing increase in forest cover across the country, but experts flagged some of its other aspects are a cause of concern, such as the decline in forest cover in northeast and degradation of natural forests. India's forest cover is now 7,13,789 square kilometer, which is 21.71% of the country's geographical area, an increase from 21.67% in 2019. Tree cover has increased by 721 square kilometer and this is a biannual report mind it the states that have shown the highest increase in forest cover are telangana andhra pradesh and odisha and five states in the northeast are showing declining rate of it arunachal pradesh manipur meghalaya mizoram and nagaland mangroves have shown an increase of 17 square kilometer and india's total mangrove cover is now 
4,992 square kilometers. The Kachai Lemon Festival is organized annually to promote this unique kind of lemon fruit and to encourage the lemon farmers. Which state does it belong to? It belongs to Manipur. The 18th edition of the two days long Kachai Lemon Festival began in Manipur on Thursday at the local ground of Kachai village in Ukhrul district. Kachai Lemon of Manipur has been accorded geographical indication, registration tag and widely known for in the Kachai village of Ukhrul district. Unlike the other lemon varieties grown in other parts of the world, it is considered to be unique as it is a rich source of ascorbic acid and famous for its juice content. This lemon is one horticulture product that can change the socio-economic facets of not only Kachai village but entire region. This year, the festival is being organized under the theme Organic Kachai Lemon for Safe Environment and Rural Transformation. With respect to the hypersonic cruise missile, consider the following statements. Hypersonic weapons can traverse parabolically. Hypersonic weapons can also achieve more than 5 times the speed of sound. We have to select the statement which is or are not correct. First statement is not correct, second is correct. Because they traverse laterally, not parabolically. Ballistic missiles traverse parabolically. Option is the correct answer. North Korea has conducted another hypersonic missile test under the watch of its leader Kim Jong-un. Hypersonic glide missiles are dangerous for very many reasons. Unlike ballistic missiles which travel in largely predictable parabola, hypersonic weapons can traverse laterally close to the Earth's surface and hit a target in a much shorter flight time. It can also achieve more than 5 times the speed of sound or about 60 to 100 km per hour. These hypersonic missiles are also worrying as they leave nations guessing whether they are carrying conventional high explosive warhead or nuclear one. North Korea joins a small number of countries including the US and China in attempting to develop hypersonic missiles. The World Economic Situation and Prospects 2022 report has been released by the UN. Consider the following statements related to it. The global output is projected to grow by only 4% in 2022 and 3.5% in 2023. South Asia faces major downside risks that can strengthen headwinds in achieving the 2030 agenda. So we have to select the correct statement. So as both the statements are correct, the correct answer is option C. The United Nations report said on Thursday that the deadly wave of COVID-19 Delta variant stole 2,40,000 lives in India between April and June in 2021 and disrupted economic recovery and warned that similar episodes could take place in the near term. The flagship UN World Economic Situation and Prospects 2022 report says, after expanding by 5.5% in 2021, the global output is projected to grow only by 4% in 2022 and 3.5% in 2023. The robust recovery in 2021, driven by strong consumer spending and some uptake in investment with trade in goods surpassing pre-pandemic levels, marked the highest growth rate in more than four decades. The report noted that South Asia faces major downside risks that can strengthen headwinds in achieving the 2030 agenda. Consider the following statements about Mongolia. It is a landlocked country bordered by only Russia in north and China in the south. Nomadic elephant is a code name of defense exercise between India and Mongolia. So we have to select the correct statement. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.